Hi guys, in this video, we will see how we can use YOLO V8 for segmentation and tracking on any custom data set. We will go uh, through all the implementation step by step and I will help you to implement uh, YOLO V8 with segmentation and tracking on any custom data set. And for this uh, tutorial, we will be using this repository. So YOLO V8 segmentation, deep sort object tracking with this repository uh, will be used in this implementation. So let's move towards the implementation. Uh, please do watch the complete video and don't skip any part of the video so that you can get full understanding of all the core concept. So first of all, before running the script, we, we need to make sure that we have selected the runtime as GPU. Uh, to be sure, just go to here and select, uh, I have selected the runtime as GPU. So I'm quite fine over here. So now we need to import all the required libraries uh, from ipython.display import image. Basically this uh, library is used when we need to uh, display any output image into our Colab notebook. Let's say I have been using this library over here. Like uh, to display confusion metrics, I am using this library uh, to display uh, prediction on the validation batch. I am also using this library. So cool, let's move ahead. So first of all, we need to run this spell because this library we use in for, from ipython.display import image as this library uh, we use to uh, load any image, output image into our uh, Google Colab notebook. Then we need to clone this GitHub repo. So just click over here and just click over this and just paste it over and just control it. Okay, so just now just run this cell. So it might take uh, one to two minutes. Okay, that's done. So just check where, what is our present working directory. So currently this is our present working directory. So, okay, so now you can see that we have the cloud folder over here. So just we need to move, uh, as we need to implement segmentation with this for tracking. So we need to move towards this folder. So we are just uh, going to here and just copy path and just uh, paste it over here and just run this cell. So if you can just run the cell from here as well, or you can just click on shift and enter to run the cell. Now we need to install all the dependencies or you can say we need to install all the required libraries to, to uh, implement this uh, project because if we don't uh, install all the dependencies, uh, some required libraries uh, which are not pre-installed might create an issue like Hydra library or Pandas library, NumPy library. So the libraries which are not pre-installed will create an issue. So it's better to install all the dependencies at the start. Might take few seconds, so let's wait. Um, it might take one to two seconds. So plus uh, moving ahead as well. So as in this tutorial, we need to implement segmentation. So we need to move towards the segmentation folder, which is over here. And just go here, copy path, and just paste it over here. So now we are to into the segmentation folder. So to implement this project, uh, we will be using this data set. Let me show you. So for the implementation, I am using this data set of drone traffic data set, which is of multi-class. Uh, this data set is available publicly on RoboFlow. So I'm using this data set for the implementation of this project. You can see over here. So this data set is already available publicly on RoboFlow. So it is multi-class data set. Uh, which contains around uh, four different classes. So we will be using this data set in this project. And plus, as we are implementing segmentation, so this is basically a segmentation, instant segmentation data set of drone traffic, which include uh, big, different vehicles uh, and cars, bicycles, lorry, and others. Okay. So here we are just importing this data set uh, from the, from basically RoboFlow into our notebook. So as I have already explained you how to import basically data set, you just need to, to import this data set. You just need to go to the data set and just uh, click on download and just show download code and just copy this. And just first before this, you need to be signed in into your account. So I have been signed in. 
So just copy this and just paste it over. You can just paste it over here. Okay, so just now click on, just run this cell so the data set will be uh, downloaded from RoboFlow into your Google Colab notebook. So it might take one to two minutes. Uh, so let's wait and see. So the data set is being downloaded over here. You can see that this is our data set over here. So now as we are going to implement object tracking using uh, deep sort, so we need to uh, download the deep sort files into our uh, Colab notebook. So I'm just downloading the deep sort files from my drive uh, into the Google Colab notebook. So just uh, downloading a zip file, which I will unzip in the next step. Okay. Now I will uh, train the custom model. So for this, just go here, data set location. So I have already trained the model for 30 epochs. You can train it for higher number of epochs. Uh, just for this tutorial, I have trained the model for 30 number of epochs. So here are the results of the model. Uh, the model gives very fine results. We have a good mean average precision as well. So I, here is the confusion matrix. Uh, so let me explain you the quite confusion matrix uh, tell us. Uh, basically, confusion matrix is the chart that shows us how our model handles different classes. For example, in this case, uh, our model successfully detects 99% or 99% of the time that this is a bicycle, while for only 1% of the time, the model is unable to detect anything. Okay. For while for bus, a model 100% uh, model successfully detect that this is a bus for 100% of the times, and while for car, that the model also detect 99% uh, of the times that this is a car. So while for uh, this is point where we are getting a bit issue, like for where the directions are weak. Let me see. So in all cases, we are getting around very good results. Like for example, we have four different classes, bicycle, bus, car, lorry. And for all classes, we are getting around 99 to 100% of detections successfully. What are we detecting? 99 to 100% of time uh, successful detections are being done. Okay, so let's move ahead and see. So these are the model predictions on the validation uh, batch. So these are basically image, uh, these images are not basically used for the training. So it is better to look, take a look and see how our model is basically behaving. So basically I have saved the, my model weights into the Google Drive. So uh, let me download the weights from the Google Drive after uh, running the training over here. Here, I just saved the model weights into the Google Drive. So I'm just downloading the model weights uh, from the Google Drive and just check it. So downloading the weights from the Google Drive. And then we will validate the custom model as well. So the size of the weights around 368 MB. So let's download all the weights and just check it out as well. So now I have downloaded the weights from the Google Drive. You can see this is my depth for 3D file over here. And here I have validated my custom model. You can see over here. So here of validation of custom model is being done. So now uh, we will download a sample video. You can just skip this tab. We don't need this. I'm just uh, basically, previously I'm just uh, importing, uh, exporting my weights from the Colab notebook into the drive. Uh, because uh, when I just run the script, so just just skip this step, you don't need to do it. So now I will download a demo video from my drive to test my model. So just downloading a demo video from the drive. Okay, download it. Now just run this cell and see what results do we get. 
it might take one to two minutes. So let's wait and see the results. So the script is running. So let me pause the video until it runs successfully and then get back to you. And this process completes. So now the, uh, script, the cell has run successfully. The videos has been processed. Uh, now let's check the demo uh, of the video. So just go here, we have our dog. Okay, just set the path over here and just uh, stay the demo video over here and see uh, what results we get. Let's see over here. So it might take one to two minutes again. So uh, I have been testing the model on two demo videos. Uh, so I will show you with the second demo video as well. So let's first see with the first demo video. So uh, here are the results. Uh, let's download it and see. Our okay, just checking it out. Let's see that. So you can see that we have the unique ID with the profit detected there, plus we have the trails as well. So we are able to get very fine results with our model, like the detections are very good. Plus, we that successfully and uh, car, trucks, lorry, and the results are very really good, really just uh, Now, let's uh, test on the demo video too as well. So just download it over here and just run the script. So, it might take one to two minutes again. So, let's So the currently the script is run, so it is just finishing. It's a short video, so it will finish a little in the previous one. So okay, that's around it. It's done now. Now let's see what our results do we get over here. Just checking the output video we got. I will be sharing this collab file uh, with you as well. Uh, this will be the this collab file will be uploaded into this Google Drive, so you can just search the file from this Google uh, GitHub repo as well. So in this GitHub repo, this collab file will be uploaded, so you can access this collab file from this GitHub repo.
So here are our output video for the and then just download it so we can just see a broader, broader view of it. So just downloading it and just download it. So here are our results, and you can see that predictions are very good. So the model is in a very good results. So these are the results. And so in this video, we have implemented uh, uh, object segmentation and tracking visualization for important data set. So I will be sharing this file in this GitHub repo. I will upload this file and the link in the GitHub repo as well. So you can download it from here as well. So do subscribe the channel and in the next video, we will be coming with some new topic. Thank you for watching.